I'm in a different room today. You guys are in my bedroom. That's where we're hanging out tonight. Look at my head. You see that? Everybody say hi when you come in so I know you're here. When I know who to say hi to. Let's see here. Um, I see Vicki Reynolds in here, Southern Ohio. Hello. Hi to everybody else in here. I hope that it's okay. Let me know that you can see and hear me. Well, that number just dropped down fast. You can see in here, awesome. Yeah, I just opened up my window in here. Is it weird seeing me, people? Hi, Kim, how are you doing? With no hair. It, it, looks, I, it looks weird looking into the, uh, um, into the camera. Thanks, Gary. It, I think it makes me look tougher, I think. Okay, Kentucky Brew Glass, nice seeing you, man. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Um, yeah, it was done. Um, it wasn't meant to be done, but it happened. Um, when I was making the video and I was cutting it up, um, it was like layered. So like some of it was really short and some of it was longer. So like when I went to go do it, it didn't matter. It was just not coming out the way I wanted it. So we're going to start off fresh. My hair grows super quick anyways. Same with the, same with the beard. So, um, hi spy in the sky. How are you doing? Yeah. Thanks man. I just, I, I don't sound it or look it, but I just, I haven't been feeling too hot. So uh, today was a little rough. Hi, Linda. How are you doing? I do look like I could own a couple Harleys. <laughs> Not allowed to, though. Mrs. Backwoods won't allow it. Well, she'll allow it, but I'm not allowed um, taking the kids on them. That was the... That was the rule. Hi, Cheryl. How are you doing? Um, Amanda's actually... The reason that I'm doing it in my bedroom right now is because Amanda and Darcy are doing some homework for tomorrow out in the living room. So um, I didn't want to go in there and take over the area. I figured I'd come in here and sit and, and talk. You can see my, my fishing net and all my nautical stuff over there. And then I got all my hunting stuff back there and bow hanging up there. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, travel into Wichita, Kansas. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> no, I'm actually, I'm not actually, Roberta. I'm not feeling better. Um, hi, Heather. How are you doing? Yeah, look, I, uh, I've been sleeping a lot um, the past two days. Uh, just, uh, it was rough, so. Did I get your email? I'm saving my ticket for you. I haven't checked my emails, uh, to be honest, in the past couple days. I need to. Um, I was trying to get... So, like, I got a lot of stuff done for the videos for this week. So, it's going to be a little confusing when you guys are watching them. Because today's was from Saturday. Wednesday's is going to be from um, today or yesterday. And Friday's is going to be from today. So, it's... A little bit back, but um, I was just trying to get ahead. Getting new prosthetic leg. That's awesome, Spy in the Sky. Congrats. Hey, 12 Stones Ranch, how are you doing? Yeah, that's what... Um, it's funny because people were like, you know, oh, you let the yard get too bad. That was a week. <laughs> so um, we've had a ton of rain, um, and it just it just got bad quick. Yeah, it will grow back. I'm not, it will happen quick too. Like I can already, I can already feel it's, it's gotten longer just from when I did it.
Oh, hi, Lee. How are you doing? Uh, no, no, uh, none of the C word. Uh, <laughs> just, <clears throat> just sick. Um, I actually tested because Darcy had a little cold. Aiden wasn't feeling good and we all had like the same thing. So I just wanted to check. So, but we're all good. So, hey, Jesus girl, how are you doing? I would look like a Hari Krishna. That's funny. I actually, there was a guy in a metal band um, that I used to, I, I knew him, but I used to go watch him play and he, uh, well, it wasn't a metal band. It was a hardcore band, but he, he was actually a Hari Krishna. John Wiggs, I'm actually, um, not, so I used to do the Screamo thing. I was actually, um, there's some videos out, but anyways, um, I was talking to somebody else the other day about getting back in and maybe doing a, a, a heavy metal thing. I don't know. We'll see, but I'm not going to do a channel. Right below knee amputee. Oh, okay, spy, spy in the sky. Well, I'm I'm glad that you're getting a new leg. That's exciting, man. I'm sure that will help out a lot. I know how important those things are. You know, I mean, it's your limb. It's a it's a replacement limb. So, oh, okay. I'll check it out, Kim Johnson. I'll I'll make sure I look at it right after right after this. I'll go watch it. Took off a few years, Nancy. Yeah, it feels like I. I'm sure it did. Um, I'd look like a baby if I shaved my beard off. Oh, thank, thanks, Jesus girl. I appreciate it. Um. Hey, Marion, how are you doing? Happy, la yeah, happy Labor Day to everybody out there, too. Um, hope you guys had a good day. Um, if you got to spend time with family or you just did stuff around the house, we've been not feeling good. I got up late. I went and did some grocery shopping, um, got that stuff done, and then um, I just cleaned, kind of doing a deep clean. Today's our, like, big pickup with the garbage, so went and did that. Let's see here. From New Zealand. Well, hello, uh, Tania. I'm going to say, did I say it right? Tania? T Tania. I'm hoping I said it right. I bet you could play the finger symbols. Huh. Those always look kind of kind of neat. Kim, looking for land everywhere. Hey, Lone Cowboy Adventures. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Oh, you're watching videos for work. Well, that's important. You got to do that. Work comes first. <clears throat> yeah, I just, it's just, we're all feeling rough. We're all feeling a little bit better. Uh, Darcy felt the roughest out of all of us. Um, I just don't show it too much because I don't feel good a lot of the time. But um, I got her some, she took like some cold and flu medicine and then she napped for a while today, so... Hi, score one with the big guy. How are you doing? It was good. Good video you did too, man. I, I liked watching your first video. That was cool. And Carrie um, did her first live by herself the other night. I did the first live with her, um, Outdoor Adventures with Carrie. And then she did her first on Saturday. Um, and that was cool. She did a great job. Um She's a good friend of mine, and it was just, it was a good live, so you get to kind of know her a little bit better on a personal level in that live, and that was, that was fun to watch, so. I mean, I've met her in person multiple times, or two times now, and uh, we've chatted a lot, so I know Carrie, but um, if you don't, you should head over and check out that live. It was Outdoor Adventures with Carrie, and that was on Saturday she did her live, so, and her videos are great, too. She's funny. Her humor is a lot like my humor, so. Oh, thanks, Carrie. I appreciate it. You could have. You could have done it. But thank you. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's allergies. It could just be the temperature and weather changing. It's been crazy. So thanks, Lone Cowboy Adventures. But uh, yeah, I uh, yeah, we're looking for property everywhere. It's actually really creepy right now how much I look like my little brother. Hey, Amanda, can you pull a picture of Michael and bring it here? It's funny. Now, now we look like brothers. It's we usually don't most of the time. Oh, there, the, yeah, I, that's yeah. Carrie's awesome. So she's gonna go. She's gonna. I'm. I told her the other night. I go. Don't forget me when you fly past me, and get huge. Well, Twelve Stones Ranch. You need to go over there and catch up on it when you have time. Because I know people are real busy. Today's a. Uh, I'm surprised there's 79 people in here right now. I thought a lot of people were going to be eating burgers, and we got rained out the past two days. It's kind of stunk, so it is what it is, though. I've been drinking these um, sugar-free things, too, that I've been buying at, um, at Walmart. I know she is score one with the big guy. <laughs> Thanks, Kentucky Bluegrass Living. I appreciate it, man. We got somebody from England. What up? Joey, hello. I've got a, another friend who is a YouTuber. Um, and I've got a, I have to have him on again. But he's from Great Britain. And he does, um, he does carp fishing. So, and I've seen him catch some of those big Wells catfish too, which is kind of neat. Those fish are just ridiculously big. I have a, John says I have a rogue hair that's starting its own channel soon. You never know. Matt's hair channel. Um, I was waiting for, um, for come on to make a comment because I made a Rogaine or Buck made a Rogaine uh, comment in on one of the videos he did calling out, come on. And now Buck decided to go with the same haircut. So I know it's been, it's been raining so much. Marion's one of my neighbors. She lives relatively close to me and it's just been raining and it hasn't stopped. So, you know what, Nancy Brown, I was about to make a pot of chili, um, I was going to do that today, and then I didn't buy the stuff when I was at the store, uh, but Chili is going to be in the future. Um, I did, actually did a Villy, a Villy, yeah, I did a Villy. I did a video of um, me making Chili last year, um, but I'm real plain with my Chili. I don't put, like, peppers and stuff in it. It's just I do the sauce and meat and beans. I'm a beans guy in my Chili. I'm sorry. I like it. You know what they say, beans, beans are good for the heart. It doesn't matter if the baby's in it. The baby is, has been in my video and she's probably watching me right now. That's not a good picture. Hold up. I'm trying to find a picture of... Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to show you. This is my little brother. Can you see the resemblance now? That's him and and his baby. You guys all all saw her on uh, one of the videos a couple couple weeks ago. So, and they might even be watching right now. So, and that's my niece Poppy um, that was with my brother. There you go, score went to big guy. Take your time with it. Do it right. Get in there. Take your time. Do it at your pace. All right? Uh, popping in to say howdy to everyone. Can't stay too long. We've been busy, busy. Hope y'all are doing good. Piggy, we hope that you're doing good too, man. Miss you. I haven't seen you guys much lately. Hope y'all are doing good. Tell Aline that we said hi to you. I know we saw you guys in Carrie's live for a little bit. Ooh, chicken noodle soup sounds good, too. So I'll tell you a secret here. 
And Mrs. Backwoods did a, she did a chicken noodle soup uh, video, but what we do sometimes, and I don't think she did in the, we did this the last time, we went to Walmart and got one of the rotisserie chickens and then used that and put that chicken in, I think we used the lemon pepper uh, rotisserie chicken and we put that in uh, with the broth and all the vegetables and stuff. You know, Kentucky Bluegrass Living, I don't know, Buck's just always, you know, always copying everything I'm doing, but... He's working on a video too. That's why he helped me get some of this stuff done and he's been working a lot, but he's gonna have a video coming out here soon. Hi, Dewan, how are you doing? I'm always live on Mondays at seven before, I always go before Jared goes. So for the most part, last week I only went live for like 15 minutes because I was helping Darcy with some homework and Mrs. Backwoods is doing that today. And I did, if you guys haven't seen it. Hi, Lori Carp, how are you doing? Hi, finding happiness in all you do. I know, Piggies, I saw you in there. In there. Hey, Bernard Brooks, sorry, I almost missed it there. So, I actually, I don't like being bald, but... You know, it, it is what it is. And like I said, hair grows back. As my grandpa used to say, he'd say, you know what the difference between a good and a bad haircut is? And I'd say, no, grandpa, I don't, I don't know. And he'd go about two weeks. So. Yeah, Taco, he's been working real hard at Taco Bell. So, Dewan, I also forgot it was Monday. And I was sitting here and I was like, I got to go live. So. <clears throat> <laughs> That's funny, piggies. You'll get better at it, um, Carrie. There's you'll get you'll get better at doing the doing the chat. It takes a little bit. Uh, let's see here. What it was said about lemon juice? Oh, Nancy forgot lemon juice. Deer meat and chili. Yeah, that's what um, you'll see this Friday. What I was doing today. Speaking of deer meat, so. Bernard, I am going to be doing, um, I actually didn't go fishing this weekend. Um, just had a bunch of stuff I had to do around the house and we had a ton of rain. So I just stayed home, um, just relaxed this weekend and that, and I wasn't feeling too good. Um, I am going to be fishing this Friday, uh, with fishing with JBT. We're going to be doing, we're going to be fishing against you. It's a fish me off. It is. It's a uh, one that got rescheduled from like beginning of May. I know we are, we are cousins now score one with, uh, for the big guy. Hey, Ricky ventures. How are you doing? Ricky ventures hit one K finally. It was a long, it was a long haul, but he did it. Congrats, Ricky. Proud of you, buddy. But yeah, yeah I'm fi fishing with JBT. Um, he catches big channel cats. So I got actually going to be stepping up my game a little bit and I got a special place I'm going to, and it's not a place I usually go to. The drinks from Walmart, clear American are super, are sugar free, but the aspartame is a chemical sweetener that is not good for you. Janice. Yeah, I, um, I know I've been diabetic for, uh, let's see, 27 years. Um, so I know all about aspartame, but I like the way it tastes. So I just drink it anyways, but this stuff isn't clear American that I'm drinking right now. This also, I think has aspartame in it. Um, it's just like their fruit drink mix that you like mix in a pitcher, like Kool-Aid. It's the great value brand. But all diet pops have aspartame in it. And I can't drink regular pop. So, and I don't want to just drink water. So that's why I, I just don't care. Hey, Vineyard Farmhouse, how are you doing?
I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I absolutely love them. Sometimes I'll take Doritos and I'll put Doritos inside the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, the nacho Doritos. The You all right, dude? Yeah. Aiden's ripping the house down upstairs. He's up there cleaning too. Yeah, everything's bad. I just, I don't even know. Working on my shed to studio as I listen to you. Oh, there you go. That's cool. I do that with BB with barbecue chips on turkey sandwiches. Hmm. Um, I'm not really big into turkey sandwiches. <laughs> turkey sandwiches. I haven't been able to speak lately, so. Yeah, Bernard, it's you get the just the regular nacho ones, layer them out, put it in between the peanut butter and the jelly, the crunch, the little bit of cheese with the peanut butter, it's really good. Uh, sometimes I just take the peanut butter and I'll just spoon it onto the Doritos. Now, if sometimes the off-brand um, Doritos, if you have, like, from all these, sometimes those are better to use. Um Hi, Stephanie. How are you doing? Stephanie Granger from Louisiana. One of our friends down in Louisiana. I love Louisiana. Um, Darcy loves Louisiana, too. It is. It, 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 well, and it all depends. Like, I wouldn't put, like, a piece of cheese with peanut butter, but the cheese flavor with it is good. Wanted a quiet place I can make the DIY videos. Plan on making an introduction video. So that's cool. Fab Happy Grish, Bushcraft Tips. That's That will be fun. That will be neat. Yeah, John Wiggs. That's what I... And they taste... I don't know. I. You can taste the difference, but sometimes I like the cheaper Dorito taste better. I don't know. Uh... My, I, uh, Emily, hello, Emily. I, let's see here. So my, um, I just, just don't feel good. <laughs> it's just one of those days. It's just everything kind of achy. My back hurts. Um, not so much like I'm not stuffy. I'm not congested. Um, I did take, I did take one of the tests because the kids weren't feeling good too. Wanted to make sure, but. Outdoor Adventures with Carrie. Yeah, I think a Louisiana trip will be fun to do. Gator season, yep. I uh I want to do some gator hunting. I think that'd be fun. Great value. Oh yeah, great values brand. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't I um I think it'd be fun. I do know that it is kind of, kind of pricey to do the alligator hunting, though. Um, but I have talked to some people that do it, and I do have some ins on that. Carrie, we'll have to talk about that. Put cheese whiz or peanut butter on a piece of celery. That's good too. So Roberta, I used to do celery, and I'd put peanut butter on it. And then I put little raisins on top of it. We called it frogs on logs. And, uh, yeah, we used to do that all the time. I never was big into the cheese whiz on it. I, I've tried it, though. It, it is good, but I wasn't as big as I was. I'm a bigger peanut butter spread than I am cheese spread. But I love cheese, but I like melting cheese on stuff. Um, you, spelled, you spelled it wrong. It's chewed them. You got to chew them, Carrie. Tubing and fishing. That sounds fun. Go gator hunting and have gator ribs barbecue. Yeah, I want to eat the whole gator. There you go. Carrie got it right that time. She fixed it. Celery and cream cheese and walnuts. I've done the cream cheese, haven't done the walnuts. That's interesting, though. Oh, you got to meet Troy? That's cool. 
grilled PBJ. Yeah, so I do, uh, I'll do like a toasted sometime. Hey, Aaron, how are you doing? Um, yeah, I, <clears throat> I like, um, I like lots of stuff though. Lots of food. We're still looking Sandy. We're working on it. Um, I looked a little bit today. I'm going to set some stuff up. So there'll be some more videos coming out of some properties. Still don't know what we're doing, but we're looking. So, and we're looking everywhere. Sorry, I had to get a little drink there. Yeah, I, uh, when I get going and I'm talking, I, I, I forget about, uh, not feeling hot though. So that's good. No big bass boat giveaway. Um, I actually, it was messed up. I went to the store to go find a, um, marine battery and I was going to a specific, specific store that I wanted to get one from because they had the one that I wanted and I went to the store but not the one that I usually go to and they didn't have them at the store I have to go to the other one so I haven't grabbed it yet but have it soon hoping to get the boat out um, before before it gets too cold you can hear the sirens outside One day I won't have to hear those anymore and I'll be be a very happy person. And uh, anybody that's in here, if you've won anything from me, um, from that live, everything's going to be getting uh, shipped out soon. Um, so I haven't shipped out anything uh, from the live where I wore the dress. Um, everything will be getting shipped out, um, by the end of this week. So deep in the heart of Oklahoma. That battery will help with solar power for the Jackery then. I don't even need it <laughs> for the, the, these Jackeries hold power for so long. Okay, yeah, I'm just I'm just getting mine sent out now. So I was hoping I was gonna have the shirts done uh, by now, but I'm gonna have to go a different way. So I had to wait to get the money to be able to order. I have to order them a different way. So I know, Marion. That's kind of surprised me. I I didn't hear too many um, too many jets at all, which was kind of surprising. Score one for the big guy. It's awesome. I'm using it right now. Um, my Jackery uh, that 12 stones actually got me. Um, and this thing lasts for forever. You don't need to charge it like you think you would. I mean, it lasts for a long time. I've had it for, let's see here, end of June. So I had it all July, August, and we're into September. Four months. I use it constantly. I, all the time. I'm using every time I'm on a live, every time I'm out fishing, I'm using it. Um, I used it when I was in Oklahoma a bunch of times, a ton of times I used it in Oklahoma. Um, I've used it every time I've gone fishing um, and I use it on every single live I've done and I've charged it twice since I've gotten it. You can do more with the batteries, Maddie. I do it with a heater in the basement. It runs, all you do is have the solar panels in a window. Uh, well, right now I have like power and stuff, so I don't even worry about that. <laughs> I'm not worried about doing any solar or anything here. I probably, you probably won't ever see me do anything with solar.
but yeah, I'm just I'm not big into solar. I think it's cool. I think it's cool what people can do with it. I just So we're um let's see here. Trying to think what else I got going on. I went and did some work today. I did the cleaning. I haven't eaten dinner yet. I have to do that. So I'm going to be smashing some food when I get off here. Got to eat. Cheese pizza day. You eat a lot of pizza on Monday, Linda. I feel like every time I'm live, you're talking about eating, um, eating pizza. It'd be nice for the off-grid property. Yeah, I mean... I still think most of the property that I get where I don't know, like I know somebody that has solar, um, and w even with what he does, the solar doesn't work for, for everything that he has to do. So, um, I don't even know if I'm going to bother with it. Mac and cheese with boiled hot dogs. That sounds good. I love boiled hot dogs. Uh, my garden shot, so that's that's that. I got like three cucumbers, maybe. Later, Roberta. Have a good night. I mean, we've just been getting rain constantly. It hasn't stopped. So, I mean, it's been sprinkling on and off. I mean, it has stopped a little bit, but it's just been raining. Yeah, the it, it's awesome. I mean, it's I show you. Got everything plugged in right now. I'm at 50%. I was at 51 when I started. So it used 1% over a half hour. And I'm running, right now I got my ring light and my phone plugged in because my phone was almost dead. Yeah, they're not, I had one normal sized cucumber. The rest of them are like itty bitty. So I don't know what's going on, but it's whatever. Um, I think we had like the carrots all seem really small, like nothing, nothing worked out. Everybody says I shouldn't have done it where I did it at. Um, it's a learning experience. We probably won't be doing another garden in this house, though. Say that much. House. So. I think next time it's probably going to be more. Um, more of almost farm like. No, Tar Darlene doesn't have any cucumbers. Um, so I didn't know I was, Darcy and I stopped and we got chicken the other night we were out and we went to this slim chicken place and they have fried okra. No, Carrie, it is a thing up North because apparently we have, fr you can go buy fried okra at some of our restaurants and I never knew it until Friday. We don't grow it up here, but as far as I know, I mean, I've actually, I've seen the seeds, which I don't know. For the first, I never knew what it was. I never even bothered until I saw somebody else growing okra, so. Pickled okra, huh? Yeah, we got, um, yeah, but the chicken place, not too far from me, has has fried fried okra, so. Yeah, I'm going to, I didn't get it. I was like, I ordered the food for me and Darcy and I was like, man, I waited. I got up to the window and I asked the kid, I was like, how's the fried okra? And he's like, to be honest with you, I have no idea. I haven't tried it. And I was like, okay. And it was like five ninety nine or something. And I'm like, for somebody to not know, and I, I'm like, I didn't really want to spend it, but I think I'm going to have to just to see how it is. 
Yeah, see, Marion's Marion's up in my neck of the woods, and she's she's found it, seen plants and stuff up by us. So, I just don't think it's as big up here as it is in the south. I've had I've had fried okra before. I haven't had it at this at this restaurant up here. Huh, with honey. That's interesting. Home fried is the bomb and cornmeal cooked in cast iron skillet. Holy frijoles. It tastes like fried tomatoes. Hmm. This is weird sitting up. I don't have anything behind me because I'm sitting on the edge of my bed. It feels weird. I decided to sit up, though. I was going to lay down and talk to you guys, but I didn't. I'm so stinking hungry, though. Everybody keeps talking about food. My lives haven't done this in a while where we just started talking about food, but, man, I'm hungry. I got some... I got some Moz sticks in the in the freezer. Have a good night, Twelve Stones. Thanks for stopping in, man. I look like a sea captain with a nut. Arr, I'm more of a pirate. See, Lori likes both of them, but says that they don't taste alike. It's okay, Bernard. I'm just hungry, man. Hey, Scott Swift. How are you doing? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. I got some, I got some of those big pretzels in the freezer too. I want one of those tonight. He had Cajun Filet's Chicken Sandwich. That sounds good. We had, like, yesterday, I just, I ate, like, a bunch of chicken and mashed potatoes and corn. But what what did everybody do today? What did, what were you guys up to? Like I said, I just did some cleaning, did some grocery shopping, got some food. Hey, Chris Tackett, how are you doing? Ooh, pork chops. That sounds good. Where's the beef? Man, I was gonna make burgers, and I didn't do that either. Now I'm really upset. Cutting grass, cleaning fishing gear. That's cool. Peanut butter on the pretzel. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do cheese on the pretzel, I think. I've got, what do I got? Colby Jack. Might do some Colby Jack. I fixed meatloaf. Hmm, that sounds good too. I haven't had meatloaf in a long time. I did nothing today. Went to the lake yesterday. There you go. Yeah, I didn't do any fishing this week, so. You found two half dollars. That's cool, man. Metal detecting. I need to get the metal detector out and do a little bit. Oop, whoa. -oh. Oh, it's okay, Bugman22. Hey, Jeff, messing around. How are you doing? I 
I saw Ricky that you made it to one K. That's awesome, man. No, we're not trimming anything. Just leaving it. Everything's going rogue. That's what I'm doing. All right, piggies. Have a good night, man. <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to... Um, hopefully, we'll be looking at some more property today. Going to be looking around at some stuff. Um, not today, this week. But we're going to be looking... <laughs> That's funny, Ricky. You'll get there. It'll start moving. Anti-mullet man. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a stray here. Hey, Brian, how are you doing? Tim Gesslinger, how are you doing? Yeah, so about about 19 minutes, head over. Uh, Jared Crocker will be live tonight. Go over till my till my sent you over. Hi, Avery, how are you doing? Um, yes, head o head over. Say hi to Jared Crocker. I'll be watching and and eating. I don't know what I'll be eating, but I'll be eating something. I didn't get out fishing. Um, I stayed in. I've been doing stuff around the house, getting some stuff together, cleaning up, working on stuff. So I have to get that stuff done. I wanted to get it, most of it done before winter so that I can, uh, so I don't have to worry. I, uh, yeah, I had to, well, and I did in the video. So, so you see, but there was stuff that I just had to get done. So. And then I stayed home. And like I said, I haven't been feeling too hot. Oh, I don't know. Happy Hunter, is he not doing a live? Okay. No, I always, when I buy, I buy shrimp fresh and use it right away. Oops. I look like Jesus Christ Superstar. That's fine. I got a halo. Do I? Hey, Hat Creek Homestead. How are you doing? It was fresh when you put it in that car. I just always use it right away. Like, I, I get it, I take it out, I use it, and that's it. Okay, Lori says Jared isn't doing a live tonight. All right. I do always have a glow around me, John Wiggs, you're right. Thank you for noticing that, though. Okay, Bernard Brooks, have a good night. The shed is a mess. Yeah, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done with it, but... No need to be sorry for being late. Still got 15 minutes. Yeah, I've never had that issue. Jared shed himself. <laughs> That's funny. When is the next bass boat giveaway? I don't know. I don't know, Ricky Ventures. We'll see. I knew what you were talking about, uh, Fat Patty, Pappy Book Trap Tips. 
That's got, I figured because you said you were working in it, I figured that's what you were talking about. He pinned it to his video today that he wasn't doing a live. Okay, yeah, I haven't I haven't watched anything today. I haven't watched. I mean, just haven't. I watched uh, Score One with the Big Guys uh, video. Um, that was the only one that I watched today. I haven't done anything else. So I was working on stuff. I didn't even have my TV going. Wasn't listening to music. I was just cleaning, getting stuff together. Like I said, today's our, or tomorrow is our big, we get one day where we can put like as much garbage as we want out. So I was just doing some, some cleaning up, getting rid of stuff. Yeah. The weather's been junk this weekend too. Thanks, Fat Peppy Bushcraft Tips. He's not minivan gamer. He, he's apparently not going live tonight. I didn't know. Linda, that's what people are saying. So, I don't know. Thanks, Cold Beer. We're looking like brothers, man. We've got a whole lot of brothers out here now with the with the shaved heads. Yeah, right? It was And it's fun. it's still hot here. I mean, it's still hot in Ohio. It's I'd almost say that it's kind of weird, like it's different. It's not I don't know. I don't ever remember being this warm um in September. I just I just don't now I look cool. Thanks, Cold Beer. I appreciate it. Cold Beer, what are you going to do tonight after after my live? Jared's Jared's apparently not going live. You're gonna you you got some time. You don't have anything that you're gonna have to do. Oh no, kidding, Linda. That's fine. I got to shave mine. Can really see my receding hairline. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I got a bald spot in the back, though. Hey, Brazos, how are you doing? Haven't talked to you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Selling soaps, making soaps, being the soap lady. Everybody in here saying hi to everybody. Saying hi to Rachel and Colby. Oh, no, I'm going to call his little butt unacceptable. Who knows? Maybe, maybe he's over there doing something. Maybe he's got big plans. Maybe he's got big plans for everybody. I, Brazos, I feel like you're always recovering from heat stroke, which is odd because you live in Texas. <laughs> I thought you'd be used to it by now. I know it's rough, though. It gets real hot down there. I hope you feel better. I know, Brazos. We talked about it before. I know about your your heat stroke issues. I told y'all Jared shed himself. <laughs> We got to see my in-laws, so that was fun. Oh, that's cool. 89 degrees here at almost 7 p.m. I don't even know what the temperature is right now. It feels like it's cooled down a little bit. I got the windows open. It's been really muggy, though. Oh, he had to move back in the camper spray foaming the shed. Well, I have to, I use the, so I use the Brazos Valley soap in the beard too, which is fun because I can go like this and smell it and it's always smells good. And then once me and Brazos get on doing the beard oil, we're going to be all set. Well, you need to message me so we can talk. Actually, it'd be better if you did like a call thing soon because I want to talk to you about something too.
and we can we can get working on some things. But yeah, I gotta Rachel, I gotta talk to you about some stuff too. I won't let you forget, Rachel. Raining in North Carolina, huh? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to do that, Rachel, to get those going. I got some ideas. Your brain is fried. Yeah, I, I feel like that too. I just feel like garbage though. I just don't feel good. So we're on the same book, Rachel. My stomach's a little, a little woozy right now. I don't know why. Oh, it's probably because I haven't eaten. I need to eat. I need to get some food in me. Westfield, North Carolina. A smoky scented beard oil. Hmm. Yeah, I just, I feel like garbage. It's hard to explain. Like, I'm all achy and just don't feel good. Your bald spot looks like the McDonald's logo. That's funny. Um, mine's in, like, the weirdest spot. I don't know. I hate it. And I can notice. That's why I usually, like, comb my hair back. I don't. I tested Brazos because I was worried because Aiden and Darcy were complaining about not feeling good too. So I got one of those sheep tests and tried it out. I'm just feeling like garbage. Like my back's super achy. And... It's the weather. I, it's what people have been telling me. I do have to eat. I just, I usually eat late anyways. So flu, no, I don't think it's the flu. I just, I don't feel like that. I, I don't, I'm not like congested. I just like, I'm achy. I hurt. I'm tired. Yeah, you got every bunch of people at work with the flu. Well, we were supposed to go yesterday to Amanda's aunt's house for um, a little get together, like cookout party thing. And like, uh, my nephew was, was sick. I guess he had a fever. Um, so I don't, I don't know. It seems like something's, yeah. And that's what Linda just said. Flu's going around early this year and it is mild. Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl. I appreciate it. You know what? Just minivan gamer, just keep like, combing your hair down and your face and maybe maybe you can get something going the fall crud yeah i know it's crazy i can't believe it's september already i forgot it was september huh that's um birthday's next month what i got what's today the fifth state of the fifth Yeah, right. <laughs> right, Chris. See, Carrie, that's a good idea. Massage the face, comb the face. The fall crud. Yeah, I that's a my grandpa would say something like that. Today's the fifth, says Marion. Yeah, that's a... Uh, 5th of September. Wow, that happened quick. This year feels like it's flying a little bit. I thought last year felt like that, too. Look what I did my hand. Got myself pretty good. Hi, Yvonne. It, it, I guess it technically is still summer until the 21st. Is that it? 21st, 22nd? Oh, the neutral ear gauge. Thank you. John, uh, yes. Um, actually, I don't have carpet. I have hardwood floors, so. 22nd. Okay, 22 of those and 23 going to be worse. I don't know. Is it? Is too, was that a question? 
2023 is going to be worse, Maddie? I I don't know. I don't know. I'm not no no. What's his name? Nostradamus. Is that his name? 45 last week. Um, we're eight years apart, Chris. But happy birthday, bud. Triple antibiotic. No, nope, not doing anything. I rubbed dirt in the wound. That's what I did. I just got the dirt and just really jammed it down in there. That's why it kind of looks brown now. I just, uh, I was just messing around. Oh, you're going live at seven. All right, everybody. I want to let everybody know in here in about four minutes or so, Cold Beer Ranch just announced he's going to be going live to bash Jared Crocker. So you're going to want, everybody's going to head over to, from here to Cold Beer Ranch is live and say Backwood sent, sent me over and he'll be over there bashing Jared for not going live, so... It's not that bad, the the cut. Um, there's metal and dirt, and they're good for you. Yeah, no, I just, I've never um, been one to use a Neosporin, ever. I don't know. It's just, I heal, I heal quick, too. Yeah, what, so, yeah, so when I get out of here, everybody, if he's going live, I, cold beer, are you really going live? Because if you are, everybody head over there. And just go in there and be like, Backwood sent me over. Say that. Just get his chat going all crazy. People freak out if you go live anyways, cold beer. You know, you get a million people over there. People love cold beer. He says he's going live. Everybody head on over there. So you know, we got 103 people in there. Can all 103 people go over and say, Backwood sent me over Big merch announcement. What? That's awesome. I need some cold beer merch. Actually, I'll show you what I still have. This is funny. Before I leave, I have it. It's above cold beer. You're going to like this. It's above my... I'm in my bedroom right now. This is above... <laughs> Look at that. Old Beer Ranch, the beer bottle. It says in your mouth and on YouTube. I had it. <laughs> I had it. I didn't know where to put it. I had. I kept the bottle from Shooting Fest, and I. Uh, I put it over. I put it over there behind my bed. So. Um. But anyways, I'm gonna get going here. Um. Cold beer is going live, so everybody head over there. Thanks, William. Yeah, I'm. I'll. I'm sure I'll feel better soon. But um, I'm getting off here. Everybody head over to Cold Beer. Tell them I sent you over. Um, love you guys. See you on the next one. Leave me some comments on the videos or under here. I'll talk to you guys later.